Denver fire crews busy with emergency calls today for a department feeling the strain. A new audit shows Denver fire is lagging behind in safety inspections, hiring, and response times, especially in northeast Denver. That is where Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen is digging into this new report and what it means for your safety. Denver fire just doesn't have enough stations here in northeast Denver. Station 35 still under construction will help, but it's not enough. When seconds count, where you are in Denver makes a difference. Is that a public safety concern? Oh, it's a public safety concern. Denver City Auditor Timothy O'Brien just released this report showing Montbello, Green Valley Ranch, and Northfield have waits longer than any other part of the city. Why are the response times so much higher in Northeast Denver? Well, because we don't have those fire stations, number one. Deputy Chief Todd Bauer tells me this area is booming with new hotels and houses. Already behind, Denver Fire is trying to speed up funding for a Northfield station in this vacant lot. They also want to build a station here off Tower Road with the 2017 bond. And we just have to get the money to be able to do it. They've already have these plans in place. It's making sure we get the funding for it. The audit also reveals Denver Fire has a backlog of incomplete safety inspections, in part because of the growing marijuana industry. We have a lot of regulation we have to enforce, and it does take longer to do that. We just right now don't have the ramp up of enough people to meet the need. However, the auditor finds the fire department has open positions paid for in the budget. Why is this a concern? Um, because it's not the fire truck that puts out the fire, it's the, it's the firefighter that puts out the fire. Denver Fire says hiring lagged in part because the 2013 Fire Academy was canceled to save money. Still, they're already implementing some of the audit suggestions because when seconds count, they don't want to be behind. Station 35 here right off of Pena will be up and running by the end of the year, and that should help fill some of the gap. In Denver, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.